The first month of 2024 is almost over. There are new deposit dates for when millions of Americans are expected to receive their Social Security payments. Many will continue to see boosted benefit amounts this February, but select households will see their checks sent out a little bit earlier. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn more about this. Also, Every Friday, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I seek unanimous consent to address the House for five minutes to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. And I'll remind the members, we have a few more seats down front. I know some of y'all are crowded up in the back, but if y'all want to come down front, that'd be quite all right. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we are nearly $35 trillion in debt right now. That's over $100,000 per American, including children. It's all because of our out-of-control spending, and so much of that money is either unaccounted for or just plain wasteful, Mr. Speaker. The Pentagon can't even tell us where half its funds end up, and that's about... Right now, they have about a half a trillion dollars that's unaccounted for, a half a trillion dollars. Foreign aid ends up in the hands of terrorists because we don't actually track it. Pandemic fraud was through the roof because we just threw checks at people like they were candy. Democrats also force Americans to spend a bunch of money on things we don't need. Americans could be on the hook for over $450 billion a year to take care of illegal immigrants because the Biden administration won't close the dadgum border. We're spending money on drag shows at military bases. We're paying for more diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in our federal government. We're funding government employees out-of-state trips to get abortions. It's so ridiculous, Mr. Speaker. Americans elected us to handle the budget, and they're suffering as a result. The Democrats' massive spending policies take more of their hard-earned money and then drive up the prices so their paychecks don't go as far as they used to. Congress needs to stand up, Mr. Speaker, and we need to get us some dadgum guts right now and make some real fiscally responsible changes on how we spend or else we will lose this country. Millions of Americans collect Social Security benefits every month, helping many with their finances. Social Security forms a bedrock of financial means for millions of Americans. Payments are made to retired individuals age over 65. Qualifying people with disabilities and survivors of deceased claimants. However, not every recipient is paid on the same date each month. The specific amount an individual receives depends on a variety of factors. For example, for pensioners, it is based on their past or current earnings. However, regardless of how much a person is paid, recipients of SSA benefits are not all paid on the same day each month. The date a claimant is paid is determined also by different factors, including the type of benefit, date of birth, and where they live. For those that receive SSI and Social Security benefits or were signed on prior to 1997, this payment will be made on February 1st. But many other beneficiaries will see their deposit arrive on the 2nd. February 14th is the next date for people with birthdays falling between the 1st and 10th of any given month, with February 21st and February 28th being the last deposit dates of the month. So while Social Security payments increase each year based on inflation, the COLA increase is not expected to rise as much as this year in 2025. According to Newsweek, the Social Security COLA will be hurt by slowing increase in the rise of inflation which will definitely impact retirees who receive Social Security. This will be detrimental to seniors because food prices are quite sticky at the moment and are not coming down. There has also been growing concerns over Social Security and the amounts it may be able to pay out in the future. Due to concerns over the current debt crisis, the U.S. Federal Reserve is expected to maintain its key lending rate for the fourth consecutive meeting this week. Despite headline figures likely to remain unchanged, analysts and traders are keenly observing any indications of a potential shift in the U.S. central bank stance towards rate cuts. 
following a post-crisis inflation surge. The Fed swiftly increased rates to counter the price increase, despite economic growth at two and a half percent in 2023, and unemployment remaining close to historic lows. The Fed's task is not complete. The Federal Open Market Committee is anticipated to maintain the central bank's key lending rate at a 23-year high of between 5.25 percent and five and a half percentage points. So this means it is seen as a confirmation that the FOMC has moved away from its tightening bias and is more intensely discussing potential rate cuts. However, Jerome Powell must exercise caution. To avoid triggering a major financial market rally, as seen after the last rate decision in December, in December the Fed raised its economic outlook for the upcoming year, and signaled expectations of up to three quarter percentage point rate cuts in 2024, fueling optimism in financial markets for a potential rate cut as early as March, when the Fed lowers interest rates. U.S. consumers typically benefit. From cheaper access to credit, impacting everything from car loans to mortgages, and boosting company valuations. However, despite market optimism, some FOMC officials have tempered expectations, emphasizing the commitment to restoring price stability, while acknowledging there is still work to be done. Traders and analysts heading into the meeting are divided between those expecting a rate cut in March. And those advocating for a more cautious approach in May, the consensus is still uncertain. So, friends, how do you think the U.S. economy is doing? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, my marvelous and most awesome friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. My dear friends, to say thank you for being part of this community. This coming Friday. I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway, friends, simply click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, and have a wonderful and very blessed week.